Fans see the majestic form of a thoroughbred and the awesome power of its half ton of muscle driving to the finish line. But they can't see inside this splendid animal, nor completely predict its performance on a given day. This has sometimes frustrated man, yet at the same time challenged him, testing his powers of prediction. It's the lure of the thoroughbred. Tellier's Thoroughbred Racing Review, for the best of horse racing history on YouTube. But the main focus of the Gulfstream racing season is a series of four stakes of ever-increasing distances for three-year-olds, climaxed by the Grade 1 $500,000 Florida Derby, the foremost preview of the Triple Crown. The series attracts challengers for the Florida Derby and the Triple Crown. It's the testing ground for would-be champions to determine if they can compete at distances approaching those of the Triple Crown events. The series begins with a spectacular bid stakes at six furlongs. The second leg is the seven furlong Hutchison stakes. The last preview of the Florida Derby is the Fountain of Youth stakes at a mile and a sixteenth, just a half a furlong shy of the Florida Derby distance of a mile and an eighth. Racing fans looking for an insight into this year's Kentucky Derby, Preakness and Belmont need look no further than Gulfstream Park's five race series for three-year-olds capped by the rich Florida Derby. It's produced 43 winners of Triple Crown events. The series first test, the spectacular Bid Breeders' Cup with eight colts sprinting six furlongs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the field for today's spectacular Bid Breeders' Cup stake. Number one from the 3G stable, Majestic Sweep. Trained by R.E. Reed Jr. and Julie Crone in the irons. Number two, the invader from France, Seagar's Clever Day, trained by Bill Mott, and the rider is Jerry Bailey. Number three is from the Overbrook Farm and Sugar Maple Farm, trained by D. Wayne Lucas and Craig Peretta. Number four, Mrs. Ben Cohen's Coolin' It, trained by Sonny Hine, the rider Louis Rivera Jr. Number five from the Regal Oak Farm, returned to quarters, trained by J.B. Sonier and Wick Barrow Ramos in the irons. Number six from the White Fox Farm, Screen Machine, trained by Gloria Castillo and Ebeto Castillo Jr. Rides. Number seven, Preston Wood Farms, Seek a Fortune, trained by S.W. Stanridge, Jose Sato's up, and rounding out the field in the spectacular bid stakes, number eight from the Blue Goose Stable, Casino Magistrate, trained by T.J. Kelly and Bobby Thebo aboard. The field for the spectacular bid, Breeders' Cup Stake. They're off in the spectacular bid breeder and cub stake. They all got away uh, in good order. Spreading quickest to the front, return to quarters. Cooling it there between horses. Majestic sweep is in down on the rail. Seek a fortune up on the outside, a close up fourth. Clever day threading through between horses in fifth. Length and a half back. Goldwater is six, some three and a half off the leaders. Scream the machine on the outside in seventh. And Casino Magistrate trails a quick quarter in 22. They move around the far turn. Return to quarters, skimming it, bounding along by a length and a half. Up on the outside, cooling it on a closer third. In a rail, Clever Day is inching up a closer fourth. On the outside, Scream Machine begins to make a run. Then there's a length and a half to seek a fortune. They turn for home. Return to quarter has been in front all the way. Has a lot left. Has the lead by two and a half. Cooling it battles for a second with Scream Machine. They're in mid stretch. It's return to quarters just pouring it on. Opening up that lead and drawing away by three. They come to the wire at Barrel Ramos and return to quarters in a romp by three. Scream Machine second. Majestic Sweep got third. And while the winner's time stamped him a promising sprinter, the strong finish by Scream Machine suggested he might like a longer distance. For the best in historic horse racing action is Thoroughbred Racing Review. Subscribe on YouTube and read the rest of the story on Facebook. Subscribe now.